this is Whiskey Whereabouts. I'm Tim, and welcome to Malt Madness. Five weeks, 25 Scotch whiskeys, and one winner. We're kicking off here in Group 1 today. We've got 30-year whiskey. We've got 18-year Lechegg. That's just the beginning. The tip-off for the whole thing starts right now. My whiskey journey has taken me to Scotland and back. I've explored whiskey education, tastings, and distilleries from Isla to Speyside. And now my journey continues here with you on Whiskey Whereabouts. So if you're not familiar, if you're not from the U.S., every March, everyone here, whether they're sports fans, basketball fans, doesn't matter, goes crazy about the single elimination college basketball tournament that plays out through March and crowns the national champion. We call it March Madness. And here on Whiskey Whereabouts this year, we're celebrating malt madness. So this is going to be a tournament of sorts with 25 Scotch whiskeys, and they all come from this. This is a 2023 Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar from the really good whiskey companies, Cask Explorer Series. It's not just that, it is the Scotch Whiskey Premium Collection. And what that means is we've got some pretty serious samples in this collection. The list of the entrants by group is in the description below. We've got 25 samples for days one to 25, and over the next five weeks, we're going to have five tasting flights. They're separated in two groups. So each of the groups is designated with a Scotland specific creature. Today is the Highland Cow group. And when I sorted the 25 whiskeys into these groups, I chose one from the beginning and one from the end and worked my way to the middle, treating the sort of end days 23, 24, 25 as the highest seeds in the tournament in the Highland Cow Group. We have the lowest seed, the 22 seed is Dewar's 15 year. This is a 40% blended whiskey. Next up at the 21 seed, we have another blended whiskey, 19 year Glen Crinan. This is an Edrington blend. This is going to be a 44% whiskey. It was distilled in 2003, and it comes via uh, Independent Bottler Chapter 7. Next up, we have the 20 seed. Lechig, 18 years. It's a 46.3% whiskey. Bourbon, finished in sherry, non-chill filtered, no color added. Next, we have a pretty heavy hitter here, a 30-year whiskey. It's single grain from Cameron Bridge. It's bottled by uh, Douglas Lang, the old particular series. This is a 50% ABV whiskey, and it was aged in single refill hogshead. And the highest seed in our group today is the three seed overall in the tournament, Spayburn, 18 years of so 46% non-chill filtered, no color added whiskey, bourbon, and sherry matured. So the competitors have taken the court. They've been poured, they have breathed, and they have been placed randomly. So I'm gonna taste. I am going to uh, give my sort of general impressions. I'm not gonna try to specifically sit here for five uh, whiskeys and note every little thing. Uh, and I am going to declare um, the winner. Which of the samples um, uh, have I enjoyed the most? Uh, that one will move on to the final starting over here. Um, on this side, and I am going to go in on the nose. Okay, so what I'm looking at here in my flight is I've got two blends, I've got a single grain, I've got two single malts. Both of the single malts have um, sherry, and one of them is peated. And in the case of this whiskey, I'm not getting any of those sort of telltale, uh, and the color, as you can see, is quite pale, doesn't feel very sherried, Feels baked, though it feels um, there's there's a real solventy sort of quality that hangs over it. It's not spectacular, but underneath it's richer. It's more of a uh, baked cookies, sweet. There's an element here of a honey and maybe a floral uh, on the nose on this whiskey. Uh, I'm gonna go in on the palate for whiskey. Uh, number one to me, tale of two uh, stages here on this whiskey. Um, the palate is very um, robust. It's rich, it's sweet, it's nice. Um, 
the finish sort of gives it up and it is much thinner. I wouldn't say it's short. It's still sort of going. You have a wave of a sort of a alcohol, um, not as solventy as the nose, um, but it is a little sharp and there is an element of sweetness to it. And there is a sort of a pretty rich um, feel, sort of mouth feel. This is not likely the 40% whiskey um, because of the way it's presenting. And it has a little bit of a disappointing finish, although it stays with you. And what stays with you is a nice balance between that sort of baked sweet with a little bit of oak bitter, a little bit of coffee bitter. Um, it's nice. It isn't as good. It's not as rich as the palette. Okay, going in on number two. Um, this is a little bit darker whiskey. Puts you in mind of one of the sherry whiskeys. And oh yeah, the sweetness is there. This is definitely one of the sherry whiskeys. And a very sort of bit of straightforward sort of sherry nose. Brown sugar sweet. Yeah, dried fruit. There's the orange citrus. There's a little vanilla. Very inviting, very nice nose. A little bit of cocoa powder almost. Sweet and nice. Going in on the palate. It's very nice. It's nice whiskey. Uh, this is a step up from the first one. And it is um, Tootsie Roll sweet with a little bit of coffee ground uh, on the palate. Pretty rich. Decent mouthfeel. Um, very, very sort of straightforward kind of sherry uh, notes that linger um, in the finish. Um, medium trailing off medium to long the sweetness uh fades first getting some 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 cask influence getting some uh oak uh especially on the finish um a nice balance between the the, the sweet and the bitter elements pretty nice well-rounded uh sherry influenced whiskey on whiskey number two so whiskey number three now going in on the nose yeah this one is one of the blends yeah it's sweet and citrusy honey a um, lot of sort of straightforward, nice, pretty welcoming sweet notes. Uh, there is that sort of brassy element, but it's not it's not off. It's 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 just part of it's part of the of the mix. Something a little toastier underneath, a little bit uh, more cereal. So going in on the palate on this one now. Finish really kind of lets this one down. Uh, the mouth feels pretty thin. I think it's uh, probably one of the lower ABV uh, whiskeys in the flight. Um, and it has the real aftertaste of sort of blended scotch, a little peat in there, a little generic, and it is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, the nose was pretty solid. It wasn't perfect. Um, it's, it's definitely inferior uh, to this whiskey. Um, pretty vanilla-y. A lot of vanilla offset with some citrus. Not a lot of other big notes uh, going on uh, in this whiskey number three. Here we come to whiskey number four. Okay, so this is a whiskey, th this is a peated whiskey. It's nice, it's not overwhelming. It's not uh, sort of roaring up at us. Obviously that lit shake is in the flight. This doesn't present like the 10 year with that sort of, sort of really, you know, kind of straightforward smoky, um, peat element. This is more subtle. Sweetness is underneath. There's something a little maritime to it. There's a licorice sweet. It's not hugely sherry, uh, but there is a sweetness, a toasty sweetness to it. Yeah, it's a nice nose. Let's go in on the palate. Yeah, after that finish, there's little doubt what uh, whiskey this is. Um, it's a huge, huge uh, just plume of campfire smoke uh, on the finish. Um, Mouth feels a little, a little lackluster. Um, it's a pretty gentle whiskey. It is until you get to that finish, sort of big, sort of peat smoke. There's, there's really no sort of heat to it. It's not a hot whiskey at all. It has a real, um, the, 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 the peat is combining with the sweet. It's giving a chocolate, um, a toasty, warm sort of chocolate, um, fudgy more, more than, uh, milk chocolate, but not, it's not bitter. It doesn't really have the dark chocolate, uh, to it. Uh, it's a strong competitor in the flight. Um, this is a pretty good whiskey. Okay. Number five. Here we go. Really subtle, 
Very subtle notes. I am really leaning in to get the notes off this one. Again, with a slight metallic element to it. Not really solventy, a little bit more brassy, a little bit polishy, grainy, fruity. Yeah, orange citrus, bordering on tropical fruit, some cereal notes, some floral notes. No real heat to it, um, no smoke to it at all. Going in on the palate, I'd say it's probably one of the blends. And mouth feels thin, finish is short, it's not much to it. Um, the flavor profile is chocolate, um, candy, chocolate, milk chocolate. There's not a lot of contrasting flavors. There is some honey sweet. There is some oak. Um, a little, bringing in a little bit bitter. It has a little bit more heat. Um, this one is is almost presenting like one of the hotter whiskeys in the flight. It has a little bit more. Um, it, just the way it's presenting. And that's on the finish. It kind of stays with you, kind of in the throat. And uh, I would say that it's sort of um, lesser, certainly, than this whiskey that we just had. I think we've done pretty well. Uh, I wouldn't send any of these whiskeys back. Um, they're certainly not equal. I have a pretty good idea of um, the, the top of the bottom. I'm now going to go back and just sort of taste them against each other and... Uh, then I'm going to reveal my rankings. Okay, so the judges, me, uh, have deliberated to organize um, the whiskeys into um, an order. And I am going to um, organize the whiskeys from lowest to highest here. And then I'm going to reveal the winner. And so the uh, lowest whiskey is going to be this whiskey, which was whiskey number three. The second is going to be whiskey number five. Whiskey number one will be the third. I'm going to place whiskey number, what was two, here. And this is the winner. They should be laid out in um, the order. Uh, but more importantly, we have a winner. We have Lechek 18. You're moving on to the finals, which whiskeys will this whiskey face off against we'll find out so if you enjoyed this and you want to see how this uh, shakes out make sure that you subscribe you can press this big button it's going to pop up right over here so you won't miss uh the next uh episode in our series i will see you then